Hey, thanks for watching. This is Hold My Beer, Mowers Gone Wild. Um, I'm Travis. I'm kind of the guy that's behind getting the video shot. Um, and we're at 2-Bit Farm in track. Uh, luckily, we have Matt that allows us to start all this and actually got us all racing tractors. Um, speaking of that, the very first video, uh, the six mile an hour stock class, uh, when we all started this will be up very soon. Um, this is Predator, uh, you'll see it in the winter race, uh, first time it was raced, just got it built. Um, it's Craftsman LT1000, uh, it's named Predator, uh, it's been a lot of fun to build. Um, have a 670cc uh, smash under that hood and it is a centrifugal clutch chain driven, pretty much um, pushing about all the bounds of all the rules that we have for our league. Uh, luckily we're still making our rules so it's allowed, um, it's not too terribly crazy fast but uh, Two bit right behind me. That's more or less a traditional build. Only went uh, 0.4 seconds behind me on the time trial uh, in the winter race. Um, wasn't like I said. It was a it's a blast. Please go watch that video. Uh, my plan was to just kind of introduce who I am. Um, we're here local, Michigan. Uh, right now there's about eight or nine of us. I think we have about 10 tractors in total. Um, we have an open class, uh, more or less. As long as it looks, drives, acts like a mower, it's a mower, you can race it. Um, and then we have the stock class, and that's where it's going to be 15 mile an hour and no faster. Um, and again, still needs to be a tractor, look like tractor, tractor mower, tractor tires. Um, but I will get into more or less how I built this, what this is, and if you have any questions, feel free to ask. All right, like I said, we have the Craftsman LT1000. This is Predator. Um, as you can already tell, the hood is raised a little bit. It is meant to be a stock looking tractor. I wanted this thing to look uh, as sleeper as possible. Um, I do have some brackets that are not fully bolted up right this minute, but it does hold the hood in place pretty darn well as I race. There's one of them on each side. Plus, I have the bolt here in the front. And then we even squeeze some lights there underneath so we can see at night around the track um, or just if it's dark cloudy anything else we are here in michigan and it's gloomy all the time in the winter uh, you can see i got the foot throttle there um, did actually eliminate the governor on this motor it had no bolts whatsoever uh, with the governor um, i was actually very disappointed the very first time i took it out and uh, that's the very first thing i did after the first ride was figure out how to eliminate that um, do have a clutch pedal still here this is actually now the brake pedal this is a live axle, so meaning that it is a straight shaft all the way through. Um, very first time I modified it, very first time I've done it, made some brackets there using actually the original brackets with some welded on stock. Uh, drilled the holes for the hubs. I was actually a quarter inch off to begin with, which was throwing the chain more. Luckily Matt helped me with that. We figured out that I was a quarter inch off and I slotted the holes and got it all back up and going. And not having too many troubles with the chain. Um, some people are saying due to the jack shaft, but that would cause a lot of other modifications and things that I just really don't want to try to work with right now. I do have a really nice plate that I made here, bolted it all up to the frame, and this is actually on a slot, so that will actually tension the chain. Um, pretty much gutted everything underneath it. Got ATV type tires that are still technically classified as lawnmower tires, uh, being they're about the same size. Um, you have the centrifugal clutch, um, all the frame, no real modifications to the steering. This thing actually steers really well. This was an awesome steal that I got when I bought this off Facebook. Uh, local lady, um, it was her mother's motor was smoking, and I got to pick it up very cheap. She was very excited uh, what I was doing to this and it's taken quite a while as you can imagine this is not a cheap build uh, the motor alone is uh, definitely not what anyone wants to spend on a uh, tractor but for what we're doing i wanted one that's fun um, i have tater tot as well that i've built and that will be incoming videos as well but then obviously we have two bit over here that's matt that will be in a video and then i'm also building uh, my girlfriend's Tractor. This is going to be the purple people leader. That one's all slammed. That's going to be a lot of fun. It's actually the motor, uh, since I got it all fixed and repaired, that actually came out of this tractor. So we try to reuse all the pieces. Actually, the rear end that was in this originally is now on Tater Todd, and I'll explain that in that build of why. Uh, but I will take the hood off, and I'll show you a little bit of just the things I did, uh, how the engine's mounted, and just kind of what it looks like.
All right, you got the hood off now. So in the Hold My Beer Mowers Gone Wild League that we have, um, we have obviously an open class and stock class. So like I was talking about, this is going to be in the open class. Fully stocked motor, even have the stock exhaust. Uh, we're talking about helping uh, build some custom headers for me. Um, we'll see about that. Uh, I actually don't mind the sound of this thing at all. Um, didn't have to do a ton of modifications for the motor to actually fit on this. It, it fits pretty well other than the hood itself we did have to buy off gopowersports.com um, an engine mount that i don't know if you can see very well there and that is actually welded right to the frame um, i had nick do that he did a great job so shout out to you nick i um, really impressed with how it all turned out and how it looks again love the headlights they work great when the hood's on there uh, just really gives it that sleeper look um, this has a fuel pump to the motor so tanks on it had to be backwards Used all the actual electrical that came right factory on the motor itself. Uh, just extended all the wires, kept everything nice and clean, getting it in there. I plan to build a shroud before uh, spring with all the mud to try to keep everything out of this. But for the winter, I don't have too much of a problem with having to worry about that. Um, we require tethers, so I can either push to kill it or, again, this has to be hooked to me when I am racing, so that way, if for some reason, I fall off or get off my tractor, the tractor shuts off. I have my headlight switch. Um, like I said, I did bypass the governor, so this is where all the throttles and everything all went before. This actually does nothing now. Governor, I did put a spring on it, and so that is actually held open all the time now. Um, so really this is pretty endless, which you do got to be careful. They are rated at 4,000 RPM. And then my foot throttle actually goes to everything under this. It actually goes straight to the carburetor now. And I just limit the throw on my pedal. So that way I'm not overpowering and damaging my motor. Um, it's still technically in its break-in period. I'm trying to be pretty cautious with it, with the ice. Uh, luckily I can't put all the power down anyways. So it, it keeps, uh, keeps me honest. Um, been again a lot of fun had a lot of fun with this thing centrifugal clutch uh, right from the get-go was a big issue it did not line up it was hitting the frame um, who we call tater tom actually uh, has some equipment he slotted the holes on my plate here that mount so that way i can actually angle it up and then uh, we took a bandsaw to cut um, flush so that way it would clear the frame and then I cut the shroud and everything. So it still looks stock, still protects everything, still keeps the belt in there. The chain actually runs right in here. So again, I try to leave everything as stock as possible. You don't really see a chain. Um, you know, it's, it still is belt driven. That is our rule. You at least have to have a belt. Uh, so this does have a belt with a centrifugal clutch. Again, it is really pushing the bounds of our racing. Um, I'm not really allowed to do much else to this thing other than just tweaking maybe the steering or, or just the, you know, everyday life, um, trying to make sure it's reliable. But if you have any questions, uh, feel free to ask, uh, like, subscribe. Um, you're going to see a lot more of our builds. You're going to see uh, future builds. You're going to see racing, bloopers, everything that will be coming. So thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, and uh, hope to keep making videos.